And we're rejoining Chef Russell Sue, executive chef and owner of 3660 On The Rise. And we're talking about their amazing Easter brunch. And as you can see right now, taking a look at a delicious gumbo. Chef, what was this one called again? It's a shrimp. We did a shrimp, chicken, and sausage gumbo. Oh, delicious. Okay, so we were talking a little bit. A lot of people maybe here in Hawaii might not know, what is a gumbo traditionally? Uh, basically, it's a roux with oil and flour, and they cook it slowly over low heat for a while. Depends on how much you make, how much roux you make. It takes about, you know, from half an hour to four or five minutes, and you want it to look really dark like this. Okay, so that's, that's what the gives roux. it the color and the flavor. Oh, I've, I've never tried to make one of these, but I've definitely eaten gumbo, and I'm a huge fan. Um, and then you also serve it up over rice. So we were talking, right. I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to spicy. So this one's not too spicy, no, right? No, not too spicy. And the rice pretty much helps with the spiciness. Okay, delicious. So aside from this dish, now well, as you're plating it up, can you also tell us what other things uh, everyone can expect at your Easter Sunday brunch? We have um, Eggs Benedict. <gasps> everyone loves Eggs Benedict. That's my favorite! We have Amish Station. And we also have, um, I guess we did a chicken dish, the chicken fried chicken with the waffles and everything, the gumbo. We, we did a salmon. We have mashed potatoes, rice, we have bacon, Portuguese sausage, <laughs> prime rib carving. Prime rib carving as right. well. Okay, so you guys, this is a traditional brunch, but plus so much more. They really are going to have everything. Again, hey, brunch, it's what the name is. A bit of breakfast, a little bit of lunch, and you can really find any type of item that you want. Now, for me at least, typically, right. I have to have eggs benny at brunch, but then to go and get a piece of prime rib, oh, so perfect. People Getting that love it. beautiful <laughs> mix. Oh, I bet. And hey, brunch, that's one of everyone's mo most favorite uh, meals of the day now. I think so. It's so hip. Okay, Okay, so Chef just finished up plating this beautiful gumbo. So you put the rice on top, and then what'd you top it off with? Uh, green onions. Green onions right there. All right, Chef, I'm going to take a bite okay. if you don't mind. Sure. Is that okay? All right, and this is fresh out of, out of the pot, so I'm just going to go for a little bit of the stew, of the gumbo, and blow it off a little bit. Mmm. That is delicious. So savory, and ooh, all the spices in there. That's the root. Uh, pretty much, no, it's not the, I use mm. lack of spice, season my chicken and everything when I saute it. Ooh. So it gives it a little more heat and a little more flavor. That is so good. Okay, so I'm going to go in for bite number two. Um, and then while I do, tell us again how we can find you and how we can make reservations for your Easter brunch. Okay, we are 3660 on the rise. It's 3660 Wildlife Avenue. Mm -hmm. And the phone number is 737 1177. Perfect. 737 1177. And oh my goodness, you guys. Chef, thank you. I'm going to eat that entire bowl before okay, we head good. out. But again, it's their Easter brunch. Now, they do do uh, brunches for all of the main holidays. So, hey, if you miss Easter, you can always head out for Mother's, Mother's Day, Day, Christmas. And then also, you guys have banquets available as well. And you still yes, have do. some available for Easter. Yes. How, how does that work out? How well, do we, we use all the rooms for Easter. But after Easter, we have back rooms for special occasions, okay. for meetings, and everything else. Okay, so perfect. So you can have the delicious food and then also have your own private space for whatever you may need it for. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you. us this morning, telling us about your brunch and, again, for cooking up this delicious dish, which I'm about to devour right now. Oh, so savory, and oh, the spices just work so, so well. All right, well, coming up next, again, Kelly Simek is going to finish this great dish.